Blessed is he who reads aloud the words of the prophecy. And blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written therein. For the time is near. He is coming with the clouds. And every eye will see him. Everyone who pierced him. And all the tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Those of you who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan. I know your works. I know your toil. And your patient endurance. And how you cannot hear evil men. But have tested those who call themselves apostles. But are not. And found them to be false. I know you are enduring patiently and bearing up for my name's sake. And you have not grown weary. But I have this against you that you have abandoned the love you had. I know your tribulation and your poverty and the slander of those who say that they are Jews, but they are not. They are a synagogue of Satan. Do not fear what you are about to suffer. Behold, the devil is about to throw you into prison. Just to find my love, hoping, praying for you to justify and my love. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads, and a blasphemous name upon its head. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth, and to it the dragon gave his power. Rome, a great authority. One of its heads had a mortal wound, but it seemed to have a mortal wound that was healed, and the whole earth followed the beast with wonder. Men worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast, and who can fight against the beast? And the beast was given a mouth, uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemous words against God. It was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe and a people and tongue and nation, and all who dwell on earth will worship it. In vain. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. If anyone is to be taken captive to captivity, he will go. If anyone who slays with a sword, with a sword, watching, kneeling, waiting for you to justify my life. And a new earth. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For these things will have passed away. To the thirsty I will give water without price. From the fountain of the water of life. He who conquers shall have this heritage, and I will be his God and he shall be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, 
the polluted. As for the murderers, fornicators, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars. Their lot shall be in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. And he said to me, he said to me, do not seal up the words of the prophecy, for the time is near. Let the evildoers still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. Behold, I am coming soon. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Amen. What are you gonna do?